I'm Jeanette Collins and you're with Stampin' to Connect. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I'm, I'm ready to show you my first Halloween card and it is from Clever Cats. So I hope you enjoy this today. It's an easy card and I've got two different um, styles to show you. So let me turn the camera down and we can get going. Uh, remember to let me know that you're here by putting a comment in the live chat if you are live with me on Facebook. Okay. And let's see. Go down to my desk. Here we are. All right. I have clever cats with me. They are the cutest. And um, I was careful not to buy too many Halloween things because I really don't do much with Halloween um, anyhow. So, but I really wanted to get this one because the cats were so cute, especially this guy right here in the box. But, you know, that's what cats do. So let me show you where you can find this. I hope you've had a good week. This is in the mini catalog. And remember, our mini catalog goes through December. So you still have time to get some of these goodies. This is Clever Cats right here. And it's on page 80, oops, 53, page 53. So it's in the mini catalog. It includes, it has a stamp and it has this really neat glitter paper. And I'm going to be doing something with the glitter paper next time. So, and of course, some really fun designs. I've seen so many fun things done with this little set, but what I'm going to do is really pretty simple, really simple. I like uh, layered cards that are just easily stamped so you can get them put together quickly. Now what I do, I like to do this every time is <clears throat> stamp all of my images. So most people just start pulling them out of, out of here and that's fine, but I really think that when you get a new set, if you can put them just in black and white on your paper, your cardstock, you really get a better feel for, for uh, what you're doing. So, <clears throat> of course, this little cat just cracks me up. And this one's sitting so that you can put him either on the pumpkin or the broom. I've seen a lot of people putting him on the broom. Um, one of my most favorite things about this little set, though, are these little guys here. You've got the, the little spider web with the spider. There he is. And then these little bats. But my favorite is this little cat right here. Um, hopefully my um, camera is catching and being pretty clear. I found out that I can't use 1080p um, in using my strict live stream. I can only use 720, so that may be why it's not catching everything as sharply as I would like. But then they say on Facebook and other media that 720 is really all you need. So who knows? I'm not really sure. But that's what I do. And it's got some really cute, cute uh, sayings here. <laughs> and to me, the one in the little... And the little box, it says, really, I've been this cute all nine lives. And then, of course, the one, it can be either one, either cat. My tail says it's the twitching hour. And I would probably use this big fat cat with the with the broom because that's cute. But then you've got the really cute cap you can put on the pumpkin or on the cats. Hey, crazy cat, it's Halloween and have a perfect Halloween. So that's what I do. And what another thing I've decided to do today is to use the scalloped contours die. And these are just so great everyday dies. Now, remember, this goes with the uh, scalloped contours stamp set. They cut out the big flowers. But this, the rest of this, you can use all year long. And probably for the rest of, you know, the, for as long as you ever want to make cards. Because these are the uh, framed, stitched, and really detailed little little dies, the um, rectangular dies. So I'm using today, for the first card, I'm going to be using this die, the size. 
And then for the second card, I'm using the one right under it, this one. All right, so scallop contours. And the scallop contours will be found in the annual catalog. This is our annual catalog, and it is found on page. Boom, boom, boom. Right here. Let's move this over. Okay, it's page 98, and you can see the 10% bundle if you get the uh, contour and color stamp. That's this big stamp here. And then you can also get the dies, which is the contour, color and contour bundle for $50. So this is a great set to save that little bit of money. I'm, I'm sure it's going to carry over next year too. That's just my feeling. I don't know for sure. And then the last thing I'm using with this is our ho hostess set, which is our big pack of 48 sheets where it's color on one side, this paper, and then black and white on the other. This is the greatest set. I just love it. So this is a, uh, if you spend $150 or more, then you can choose this pack of 48 sheets. It's 12 by 12 sheets. And it's, I think, I guess you can get that free. Yep, that's right. Okay, so that's what I'm using today. And let's get started on the card. Oh, you know what? I forgot to cut a base. All right, well, let's do this. Okay, so today's card, I'm going to go pretty much black and white. We're going to use an A2 size side folding card. And the A2 comes out to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to use a black panel. And the black panel will leave me a eighth of an inch all the way around because it is four and five and a fourth. All right. So that's the black panel. And then after that, remember I told you I'm using the scallop die. I've already cut this out to save time because I get long-winded if, if not. And so this was that larger die. And if you need to measure it just to make sure, it's three and an eighth by four and three eighths, but it is that contour die. And again, what makes this die so special is see how beautiful that stitching is on the inside and this one's just a little dot stitch which is really nice and then the other piece i'm using is from that uh, pattern party paper uh and it's this little black and white piece it comes this is the reverse side and this is just a two by four piece of paper and then the last thing i think that's it okay so what i want to do is start with the stamping on this and then we'll put the card together so i'm going to stamp on my my cushion pad here and remember this is a scalloped die this is just white basic white card stock and i want to make a scene with that cat that's sitting in the box i have a, three cats and our Manx, he's a no-tail cat, or she rather, no-tail cat, and she loves to sit in boxes. Um, I, it seemed like she really liked my Stampin' Up! boxes because that's where we would find her a lot of times is sitting, you know, tucked in as much as she can. And, and that's what they like. And that's why this one's so funny because he's really, you know, he didn't fit, fit in at all, but he... <laughs> he's in there okay now I just want to show you this as I'm stamping um, notice I'm not getting a real good stamp right there you can see how it's kind of not going on that se section so pay attention to that when you are stamping with your memento black see it still didn't come in on that area and just keep you know pushing and moving it around on your your ink pad until you get that section covered. Okay. That looks a lot better. All right. I'm going to move my ink out of the way so I don't get it on top of uh, all over me. 
And I'm going to put this guy right in the middle down, down toward the bottom. And I will just put, see, if I can do it straight down in the middle, not touching the little dot dotted line. You know, it's above that. And I'm going to hold it there, kind of rub it. I'm not pushing too hard, but uh, enough pressure where that ink will seep in. And again, since this is photopolymer stamps, you do want to use a cushion underneath. And so that's why I'm using our mat. Hey, that looks great. It really filled in and I was having trouble on this side, but that's okay. That looks really good. All right. And now, <laughs> again, this is simple stamping, but it's so much fun because you get to use all these cute little images. I think they're so fun. All right. Let me put him over here. My next little image I want to do is my spider, the little spider hanging off the web. And I'm going to put this little thing face down and then grab it with my block. You can tell it doesn't even want to sit correctly. It's leaning. So when I get my block, I'm going to kind of roll it over. And now it's now I can tell it's straight. If I would have tried to put it down with my hand, let me just show you. If I try to put it down, you know, I may bend it a little bit and it may not want to sit real straight. So I learned this trick from, um, oh, I would never remember her name. I'll have to, I'm going to have to write it down so I'll remember next time. Okay. And I want to put them up here. I want to do three different um spider so i'm going to do one long and i'm the longest one i'm going to have him it's like coming down over over him so let me get get it inked up and i'm going to start at the dots you know what i'm going to start over the edge i think that's going to be better this way i, I won't worry about missing where the dots are there and let's go another another row and we're just going to continue and there pretty good huh and now let's do a second one but we're not going to go as far down there and this one will be a little shorter There, <laughs> and then this will be the shortest spider up here. Okay, there we go. So I've got the three little spider webs, and now we can get to the spider, do him next. I really had a lot of fun playing with this set. I can't wait to use the little bats. Those are so cute. All right, let's see. And get him really inked up solidly. I'm going to turn this one like he's flying down like so. Let's do this one flying down the other way. You think? No, I'm going to put the middle one straight. Okay, here we go. The middle one's going to be straight. <laughs> and the next one will be twisted the other way. Eee, they're coming down. I don't know about you, but I hate spiders. Except for when they have cute little eyes and their little legs that look like that. Stamp spiders are okay, but real spiders, no. Okay, now what do I need next? I think all I need is my sentiment next. Okay, let's see. Where's my sentiment? I am going to use, that is just so cute. <laughs> um, okay, here's, this one is have a perfect Halloween. Okay. And let's stamp this one up. Got that ink on there pretty nice. And I don't know how I got spots already on my card, but I did. So I'm just going to try to go right over that. And I'm going to do this at an angle. There. Hold it down. Lift. Beautiful. 
Of course, I missed the spot. <laughs> oh, well. I did not have to be perfect. Just good enough because it's handmade. Hey, right, this is another little trick I do. I want to show you. When I um, put working with my stamps, instead of just laying them back on a on a um, another block, if I know I'm done with it, I will put them back on on the front. So at least I know that I've got them there. So these are the ones I'm using. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is add just a little bit of color to those eyes because those eyes are so great. I didn't want to add too much color to this card because I'm using this black and white paper and I want that to stand out. But first of all, I'm taking a little stampin' spot. These come in your paper pumpkins. So I've got tons of these, but I'm going to use this one called Daffodil Delight. You know that color, that pretty yellow. And I'm going to smoosh it onto my block like so. Okay, perfect way to use this. I see people using their big stamp sets and smooshing them and then using a, a watercolor brush or whatever to pick up the color. Well, today what I'm using is the Winka Stella brush. And I'm going to pick it up with my Winka Stella. And I'm going to color in my, those eyes just like that. So... By using the Wink of Stella, I am immediately I have the little glitter on there, too, which I think is so fun. And, of course, on my scrap paper, I'm going to, you know, get, off, get it off as much as I can. All right. But we're not done. And then I took my wet towel and just kind of got it there. I'm going to wipe this off. And now I want to use the green. Now this was an old Stampin' Spot. You can tell it's been well used. And this is the Lemon Lime Twist. Gosh, why is it this picking up the name? Lemon Lime Twist. It's blurry, I can tell it's blurry. Okay, anyhow, this is Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to smoosh it. And I really didn't need to do that hard of a smoosh because I'm just doing, I'm going to do the little eyes of the, of these spiders with the Wink of Stella brush. There. Isn't that too cute? Yeah, I'll put some, might as well put some on the whole spider too, because we want them to be glittery. Look at that. And you can't see that it's green on the black, so that's okay. But isn't that cute how it does? Fun, fun. Ah, hi, Hannah, so glad you're here. So anyway, just a little trick. To use your Wink of Stella and then you just wipe it off. See how easy that is? And take your damp towel and just kind of press the end and it takes the rest of it off of there. So now, so I've got that much done. Again, this is with the contour. Oh, the contour, scalloped contour die that I cut my white panel out. Now, let's put my Wink of Stella up. I thought about, you know, doing more color on this, um, on this guy, even coloring, color in the box. But I did it as a practice. And I think it takes away from the eyes. So I'm not going to color that. But what I will do is I will take a marker. This is a marker I have. And it's a like a gray marker and I'm just going to put some color at the bottom to kind of to give this um, box where he's sitting just to give it some grounding. There. And that's it. Nice. 
and that's all I need. I don't need any more color than that. Now let's put this card together. Okay, so we've got the, the focal point ready. Isn't that the cutest thing, those little sparkle eyes? All right. Now, like I said, we're going to use the white side folding card base. And my next layer is the black, which is a quarter of an inch cut smaller than the panel. And my glue, got to find the glue. I don't know. <laughs> I talk to myself all day long. Actually, what I what I do a lot is I hum and I sing. I kind of sing little jingles I hear on TV. Those ones that can be obnoxious. <laughs> okay, here I go. I'm just gluing this on. And this is easy peasy layering. Okay. And I just try to look at the top and the bottom, see if I can get it as straight as I can, kind of pushing it over to the left and making sure that these sides are good. And now I'm going to put my two inch by four inch a little strip of black and white paper from that pattern party set. And I'm just going to stick it right in the middle and it's going to be flat with glue. Okay, so today I am doing two. <laughs> well, you know, we got to keep ourselves happy. And part of ha being happy is just, I guess, talking and singing to ourselves. <laughs> At least that is for me. <sighs> but my dad used to whistle. I don't know if, if you had any whistlers in your family, but. We always knew he when he was in a good mood because he would be going through the house whistling. All right. And here's the next layer is, I mean, look how pretty that turns out. It's so simple, but it's a simple, you know, this is that scallop die. It just does the work for you. And the stamp set is so darling. I, I mean, I just used the black and then that little bit of color on their eyes and, you know, put a little gray at the bottom. And... You know, I know people would pop this up, but guess what? I'm doing it flat. <laughs> okay, let's get it on the outside of this little frame. Wee! You no, know, this. You know, Halloween has never been a really big deal from growing up. It wasn't. It was more, it seemed like my mom was always mad because my brothers are the ones, I guess, that took advantage and they would do silly stuff and she would get so upset. And so I guess it's maybe from seeing her so upset all those years that we, you know, we weren't able, I mean, she made our costumes because she sewed for us all the time, but they were not scary at all. I promise you. There's the little card. Isn't that the cutest? So especially those little eyes. I love those yellow eyes. So if you have the stamp set, get those eyes colored. They're so fun. All right. You know, the one thing I forgot to do is to get another card base. So I'm going to scoot away and get my card base. Hang on. Let's see. Put that one here. Ay, ay, ay. I only have those. Okay, I went to my stash and all I have is a side folding. But you know what? I can use it as a top folding. So my next card I'll use as a top fold. This is a side fold. Ta-da. Oh, this just makes me... Happy. Of course, you can continue adding more jewels with this. If you have the little, I, I would just use the, oh, what are they called? Just the little normal ones. Normal, normal. What are those called? Oh, I know. Rhinestone. Yeah, 
I would just put some little rhinestone on them because that would go with that black and white. All right, let's do the second one because it's cute too. Okay, now this time I've got the side, the top folding. It would be top folding because <clears throat> this paper was cut, the eight and a half by 11 was cut lengthwise. All right, so I've got that. Let's see what else I'm going to use. My next black and white piece. And remember this from our um, party paper? Is that what it's called? Uh, pattern party designer. Pattern party designer paper. This one is four by five and a quarter. So it will fit in with that leaving an eighth of an inch all the way around. My next size little panel is this pattern paper. This also comes from that same um, pattern party paper. It's two and three quarters by four. Okay, so that's going to be here. And then another scallop die, and this is the smaller one. It looks just like um, the one before, except it's just the size smaller. And if you measure from like from bubble to bubble, it's two and a half, and from bubble to bubble is three and three quarters. So if you need those, but it's the second one down that looks like this. All right. So let me take these off. Two, two and three quarters by four. And four, five and a quarter. Okay, so all we need right now, again, is this one to stamp on. Oh, this is so much fun. It just makes me happy. All right. I'm going to use this. I'm going to show it to you on the stamp set again. I'm going to use this fill-in right here, and it's the fill-in to color this pumpkin. So what I'm going to do, I've got it on my, on my little block. What I'm going to do is use pale papaya. Oh, thank you. You should see the whole thing when I first uh, came on. It, it is kind of wild looking. It's a it's a tie dye um, tie dye uh, sweatshirt. I keep it laying around because I can get cold real fast in this air conditioning. That's what I'm doing all day long. I either I'm putting it on or taking it off. Putting it on, taking it off. Okay, so this is that that colors in, and I'm using pale papaya on it, and I'm going to go right above that dotted line. And just stamp straight on. All right. Ta-da. And now another one. I'm going to do three of these. One on top of the other. Hi, Hannah. Do you have this stamp set? The Clever Cats. Ta-da. And one more. And it doesn't matter that I touched it. It really doesn't matter. And three. Okay, so I've got three of, I guess you would call it the inside of the pumpkins. All right, let's put my pale papaya away. And now I'm going to use the outside of the pumpkin. And this one's just going to get done with the memento block. So it's easy. So you can make your pumpkins whatever color and then just put the black over and put the little face over it. Let me show you how cute it is. Uh -huh. Got to get that mouth really stamped up. Okay. And it just goes right over. Now, it's not supposed to be perfect. So when I lift it up, you may see some white to the left edge, and that's the way it's supposed to be. See? See, and it's kind of white on the bottom. It They made it where it's not perfect, so you don't have to be frustrated that you didn't get it lined up right. You know, especially if you don't have the Stamparatus. And... Okay, there they are. Now, my next thing is to do the cute, cute 
You know what? I said, I think I did get them a little bit too close. I think I want to do that again. Let's do a do-over. Okay, I've got another one of these. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm going to start with it. With the pale papaya. I'll put them a little further apart this time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a fun set. And I don't know about you. I go on, on Pinterest and just to look to see what people are doing. And, you know, everything is kind of similar. But it, they're just all so cute. But this is my own. I might have seen somebody put, now see, I've put the little spacer in between. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Um, I might have seen somebody stack these. I don't know. I look on there so much. Oh, and it was so weird. I guess yesterday when Facebook went offline and Pinterest, not Pinterest, um, Instagram went offline. I'm like, what? What's happening? Because I always look for certain things when I go to Instagram. Okay, here we go again. The little face. Face. Ta-da. Okay, now let's see if I can get in without crossing that line. Yeah, that looks better, don't you think? See, I landed right on top. That was lucky. Now this one, you can tell I've got the little orange on there, but I'm I'm going to do my best to get it up right on top of that line. It's a little hard on camera because I can't lean over. And as you can tell, I went too high. But for the sake of this video, it's going to be okay. Now, oh, I've got to get my next little, little guy that I'm going to put in here. My next little guy that I think is so cute is this little cat. It's just his face. Look how tiny that is. You can barely tell what it is. But let me do it. Let me do it for you. He's peek. It's going to look like he's peeking out of those pumpkins. Okay, come on. Hold it down and lift. See? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to do the same thing with his eyes. I better wait, though, till he dries a little bit. Let me get my sentiment. My next sentiment is I'm choosing just a, a, a thin one. So I'm choosing It's Halloween, which is a nice, nice little sentiment to have. Okay. And it's just going to go right at the top here. And lift. There you go. Isn't that the cutest? I love it. Fun. I don't know why. I've got, look at this. I'm just putting ink all over myself. I guess I'm trying to go too fast. Because I'm generally pretty slow at what I do. All right. Now, let me get my, um, since he's, since we got the pumpkins and the pale papaya, let's do the green eyes. I'm going to use that lemon lime twist again and put, put it on this block. And we're, this way, this little kitty can have the green. Okay. But anyway, pull these out for stuff like this. This is excellent from your paper pumpkins. Use them for stuff like this. Then you don't have to get your ink big ink pads all gooeyed up. <laughs> Looky there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the sparkle all over him because he needs a sparkle. Too cute. Ta-da. Okay, wipe it off on here. Wipe it off on my little towel. All is good. It's back, back to being wonderful. I'm ready to use for the next one. Okay. So I've got the 
pumpkin's done. Now all I have to do is put the card together. I love this design of this card because it's so easy. Again, here's my card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. Here's my next layer, which is a quarter inch smaller. And I'm just going to glue him down. You don't want to look at my fingers. <laughs> I always say, you know, I didn't even get my nails done today, but that my fingers look like somebody took a hatchet and just chopped them off at the ends because they're kind of square. But that's my heritage. Okay. Now, now this piece, you know, I've got, this is what I have left to put on here. And I was looking at, let me show you the card. I don't know if you'll remember, but we did this card a few weeks ago where I had the solid. So it has, you know, pattern paper, pattern paper, and then the white card that you can stamp on. But I tilted the white card with everything else straight. Well, when I was looking at at this one, I was like, well, if I put this straight and this crooked, yeah, it would look all right. But with the patterns, as you see, the patterns are going across this way, and then this pattern's going across. So I'm going to tilt this one and then put this on straight. Works, doesn't it? And yet it's so cute. Okay, so let me glue that on. See, it's just almost the same. All right, here we go. Let's get this one on. Okay, I'm just going to turn it to its side. Pretty good. Okay, and this one's going to get put straight on too. Makes it easy to go through the mail. Hey, and this one's got the line, so I can I can actually see where I need to put it. I'm going to put it in flat. And here we go. I'm trying to get it centered as best I can. Isn't that precious? Let's get that bling and put that bling on these. And then I'll be done. So I got two Halloween cards made very quickly today. Yay. I think Christine is working on her Christmas ones. Yep. Let's see. Let's put one up here. They're on this side of the Halloween. Another little one. I think it should be on this side and then one toward the bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't that funny how we take forever to figure these out? Could go at the very corner. No, I'll put it in here. There. Okay, that one. And then this one. Let's put some jewels on him, too. I can use the bigger jewels because it's got more space. Put one here. And here, since he's looking that way. And maybe that medium-sized one somewhere right over here, buddies. Yay! That's cute. And that's all we need. So there you go. I'm going to flip the camera so you can see my crazy shirt. <laughs> there I am. See? <laughs> Anyhow, this was fun. I enjoyed doing my little Halloween cards, and I hope you enjoyed them too. Um, remember, I'll be on Friday for Off the Board, where I take a Pinterest um Pinterest some some card from Pinterest and try to recreate it or do a spin 
you know, to, to make, make my own creation. So hope you'll join me on Friday, one o'clock PM central. And it's great to see all of you. I'll see you next time. Bye. Forget what I have to do to turn it off. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Bye. <laughs>